Yellow. Hi everyone, welcome to the end of 2013 with Pigway and Jakiri. So we have a last minute haul for you guys in about two and a half hours. It will be 2014, yay, new year, new things. So this is our gift to you. Okay, so this is our first thing that we got online. It is some spring clamps for our green screen and it's six pieces and so I'm going to open that now for you and show you them. They cost six dollars, so a dollar a clamp. So this is our clamps that we got online. So we wanted to open these first so we can fix the green screen later. We might not do it on this video, but maybe our next video. So this is the clamp. <laughs> Alright, so, so this is the clamp. As you can see, we use two hands this time. So that will pinch it and hold it taut. Well, it feels really sturdy and it seems like it'll do the job. It's not like we're going to be moving it around and pulling on the green screen. So I think it'll do a great job for our purposes. Um, if anything, we'll probably get more heavy duty ones once we start getting more into photography and doing self portraits of that nature. So it does have a plastic feel to it as far as the grip and everything. It feels like it's not going to hold anything. But then once you actually try and open it, it does have pretty much strong grip. And it does have a screw there to hold it in place, so that might give it a little bit more strength to it. But it does have a lot of resistance when I am squeezing it. So it seems like a pretty good clamp for its price. So here I have our replacement lights because one of the switches have came broken so we had them send us another one from ephotoinc.com so they sent us another head so we like I said we had that problem with the switch so we contacted the guy who sold us the product and we told him the situation and he didn't ask us any questions we didn't have to pay any shipping for the new one he just sent it out and it came within two to three business days and so we thought that was really good customer service. So we wouldn't mind buying from them again. So, I don't know. So it's kind of like a seal. I don't want to cut into it. Maybe a little bit. Let's cut it at the top. So this is a package within a package. Kind of ripped over here, but so. We're going to have to test this one out and see if this one works as well. But this is the one he sent us and this is the switches. This was the switch where we had a problem before. And then we also have another switch here. And then it has the four bulbs where you can put your um, light bulbs in. Right now we're using daylight bulbs and it came with our kit. So you can change out your bulbs of course. And so, and then it has a fuse switch back here. So that's that. So hopefully it does okay. And we'll let you know how this one turns out. Um, we did not have to send, well he didn't tell us that we had to send the other one back. So we're just gonna keep it as a spare. <laughs> so. Okay, so now we are done with items that are from online. 
that we needed for the green screen or replacement items. So now we have things that we got from Salvation Army. So go check out your local Salvation Army or thrift store. You might find equipment there. Luckily for us, we found, you know, this good buy because they had 50% off and the bag was $30, so it was $15 and then Jakiri 2, I was about to say Pigway, <laughs> Jakiri 2, he got a um, another lens outside for 5 bucks. So we think it was with the kit, but they were trying to, you know. But either way, it was still a good buy. He noticed the case first. So first he noticed this case, as you can see, inside of their glass case at the store. So it's a pretty cool bag. It has like a little handle here. I don't want to open it too far. We got it's not closed all the way. And then it has a shoulder strap here. It has a little strap where you can put some things in there and close it off, zip it up, of course on the inside. So in here, now mind you, we thought this bag was gonna cost like so much stuff. We didn't know there was things inside, and so we were really shocked to find out there were. There were two speed lights. This is what we were looking for. We were actually going to go buy them. And speed lights can cost roughly around 60 bucks or more. So to think you got all of this in a bag for like 15 bucks, like what a find. And some of these are actually a vintage quality, if you would like to say that, I guess, because they're not a newer model, but they still work very well. I don't know if a battery is it's in here no okay so there's no battery in here right now but we did try it and it does work so this is one of them and then over here is another one so like I said we tried both of them so this is the second speed light as you can see and then it has this right here so it looks like someone wrote some stuff on the back with a little label but this one works as well, so we have two speed lights. And we will have the information in the description about these two speed lights. So you can find out more about them and where you can possibly save a deal by going a cheaper route and getting an older mo model of things and then, you know, finding adapters to help them work on your newer camera like ours. So here is one of the lenses that came in the bag. Like, how awesome is that? So now we just have to get an adapter for this lens. This is actually one of like a more heavy duty lens. It's like made out of metal, not plastic. So this is how you focus. I don't know if you guys can see it really, kind of. We'll zoom in later. And this is a Tamron 80 210 millimeter lens. So the glass is really clear. You know, you want to look for any cracks or anything when you are getting something to use or as old as this. I think this was from the 70s. So um, it looks like someone maybe found it in their grandpa's closet and then because there's a lens in here where it's they seem like they didn't know what they were doing and they messed it up a little bit. So yeah, so the glass is very clear. And it looks really nice inside. Okay, so here is the second lens. This one is also heavy duty. It's made out of metal. It is not plastic. And this one is the Vivitar 75-205 millimeter lens. And it has right now a UV um, cap on top. And it has a scratch on that cap. So we're going to take that off and the lens underneath looks like it is okay. At first when we got it, we thought it was the lens that was actually scratched, but once we looked more into it, we found out that it most likely isn't the lens that is scratched. Um, we have adapters that are coming in the mail, so we can be able to attach this to our Canon 60D. We'll show you some of the pictures. Once we do take pictures, we'll let you guys know. Okay, so here we also got in this bag, we got some amplifiers or magnifiers and it's three in this case and it's by Hoya so our first one 
is this one. So as you can see, you can even see right there using the camera, right? So this one is a 55 millimeter plus one. And then we have Then we have the 55 millimeter plus four. As you can see, right there. And I believe this one is a plus two. 55 millimeter plus two. And then you can screw all of them together and put them on top of your lens. So here you have your three magnifiers, and this can run about 60. $60 and then each lens in here goes for about 60 and sometimes a little bit more and then on top of that if you paid for this bag and I don't know what else I have in here the speed lights <laughs> you can easily go over $200 and we got it for 15 bucks you know so that's why I'm saying you need to go and find thrifty spots and look around you don't always have to go to Best Buy and all those places and just be like okay well this is the only thing I can go you have to really be a smart you know if you're gonna be a photographer be a smart photographer especially if you're new to it you don't have all that money to spend okay so our last two things are this so at Goodwill this was about 20 bucks and we almost got it for him to keep his um, budding suit in we went to Salvation Army and this was only four dollars originally eight bucks but since it was 50 percent off he got it for four bucks, so he got this one as well, to, so he can carry his, you know, suit jackets and all those things in. And as you can see here, you know, it has little pockets to carry other things, zippers. I think this one actually has a little hanger thing right here, little latch. And then it has the actual little hanger where you can hang it in the closet, just standing straight right up. And then the other one, and then it has like a button down here to where you can latch it together so it's not flapping all over the place. This one is similar, but it has a zipper, a zipper on the back. And then it has some latches here instead of the buttons at the bottom to keep it in place. And then it opens up as well, so let me open it for you. So once it's open, I think this one's really pretty. I just love the color contrast together. So then it has zippers down here. And then you just kind of unzip it and then you it has like a little latch up here. So then you can just so that way it doesn't unzip later on, which I think is pretty cool for four dollars. We said we're leaving Goodwill, sorry Goodwill, but you don't have them. They always have the color of the day and it's not your day when you go, right? So um, that is all we got from our haul, and we hope you guys enjoyed it, and we hope you guys, you know, it opens your mind to looking at different places of where to get things, and hopefully you enjoyed it, and we wish you a happy 2014.